or sit her middle school students and teachers got sick all at the same time. And we heard you and we looked into it. An exclusive story today. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez dug into the school's health inspection history. The illness sickened at least 50 students here. The district believes it was a case of stomach flu, but many parents were online asking questions concerned that it could be something else. At Center Middle School, things are getting back to normal a week since a nasty illness swept through the building. We were just trying to rush to find out what it is and how to stop it. But on social media, some parents raised questions about the school's meals. So we asked the city for the middle school's health inspection records for the last two years. Documents show in January the health department paid a visit to check on a complaint that bugs were found on some food. The inspector didn't find any pests but saw pineapple, broccoli, cucumber and sliced tomatoes being stored at the wrong temperature. Take note of all the 50s in that column. The law says cold food needs to be stored at or below 41 degrees and hot food at 135 degrees or above. This is what we call the temperature danger zone. Any food product that's ready to eat that require temperature control cannot be in this temperature range. In 2016, inspectors issued six violations regarding food temperature over four visits. In September, hamburgers were temped at 116 degrees, 19 degrees below what's required. All these things are habits. So we want to break the habit by going back. The health department says not keeping food at the correct temperature is the number one problem for food establishments across the city. They issued more than 1,600 violations for it last year. We don't want to have it happen in all the time, and it's not. It's something that we, we look at on a case-by-case -case basis. But the school district is confident the food wasn't the culprit last week. We also have indication that students and staff who didn't even eat our cafeteria food were affected by the illness. The health department wants parents to know that if they're concerned about food safety at their child's school, to go ahead and contact 311. Reporting in South Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News. All right, thank you, Andres. Now, we do want to emphasize any issues the health department uncovered have since been fixed and meanwhile in 2016 the health department gave center high school a coveted award for being a food establishment with a low amount of violations